setting up central late software for automatic tool setup. In the wizard you have to uh, select for your inputs probe detect and probe trip or you can use tool touch of detect or tool touch of triggered if these inputs are set you are going to tool touch off you can use for an ordinary NPN probe mechanical and set it to normally closed or opened and set the X stylus di diameter here and the X stylus Z size Here it is it explained <coughs> how the probe cycle is working. After done, you are writing the settings to the CNC control configurations. Now you have to power cycle. And rehome the machine. So that was all to set up the probe or the tool touch off device in the software and now it's ready to use. So you have to adjust the run out of the probe. This one here is okay. the probe in a, a ER16 holder so I have a physical stop always the same at the front of the chuck if I'm installing it and you should always <coughs> install it in the same orientation so the run out will be minimal uh, with minimum changes if you reinstall the probe. So next thing to do is to make a skim cut. I have a button for this. If you have measured the diameter of the skim cut, you must set up part X. It's also okay if you have not a reliable homing to do this anytime you start the machine. Now you are ready for measuring your tools. 
So first thing is to set the X parameter. And then the set reference for, of the probe. After this is done, you can <coughs> automatically measure the tools and set at X. That is all you have to do to measure outside diameter tools. ID turning tools are measured from the other side of the probe. So the nose vector here is 2 because it's uh, going in this direction opposite to the outside tools. It's working in this direction with nose vector 3. That's it. So one special case are drill rollers because you want to set them to X0 and this is done by a dial indicator. And here you can see the tool height is not okay so you need to adjust it. So oh, now it's in the center line <coughs> of the spindle and you can set it up in the uh, tool offset.
this was tool number nine. And of course here the x meter is zero. So you have to set it manual to zero. And then measure two, measure offset x, but this time also <coughs> manual measure here. And now as you can see, the tool is set to <coughs> x0. Easy peasy. So the normal workflow is to measure your outside tools, measure the drill holders, and then install the drills and do the measuring of the set offset also with the probe. 